But I got interested in this story when I discovered that Queen Elizabeth I started the first English Secret Service. And I was just intrigued at the idea of all of this happening in Shakespeare's time, 16th century, and yet they're doing all the stuff that we think of as very 21st century. It's like they're doing surveillance on people, they're intercepting messages, and they're decoding encoded messages. And so I just thought, what a great idea to write a, a story about a secret agent, but in the time when Shakespeare was alive. I always think about uh, Ian Fleming and the James Bond books because I read my first James Bond story when I was 12 years old. What I remember about it is how excited I was to have a new James Bond book in my hand. When I started to try to write novels, I would think what I want is for people to feel as excited about a new Ken Follett book as I used to feel about a new Ian Fleming book. That's a pretty high target, but it, it's worth aiming at high targets, right? I don't need a particular environment to write, although I love to be surrounded by books. This is like uh, the feeling that a 10-year-old must get in a candy store. But really, the environment doesn't make that much difference to me. And it's because I started as a newspaper reporter. After all, when you're in the newsroom, uh, surrounded by reporters on the phone and yelling and doing stories, you can't say, would everybody please be quiet because I'm trying to write. <laughs> that just doesn't fly in a newspaper. What we take away from books is, is, is something much more general. We improve our ability to see the world from the point of view of people who aren't like us and realize that all those different points of view can be reasonable. Every novel that's worth reading shows you the world from different points of view and enhances your ability to do that all the time. That's what makes us civilized.